All right, guys. You can see I've taped up my guitar. Just got our operation area here ready to go. And uh, lovely day out here in Slaughterville, Oklahoma, USA. Kind of live off of a road. Not it's not a main highway, but it's kind of like a secondary road that's fairly busy you'll hear cars going by every now and then but so yeah so I just got everything you know taped off because we want to make sure we can concentrate on this and uh, I'm going to be using 100 grit sandpaper and I've seen guys use files you don't really need I don't know I guess you could do that but this 100 grit is amazing I, I did my uh, Yamaha Pacifica 921. I actually scalloped the last seven on it. It came out amazing. And then, uh, you know, I've always seen the RGs have the last, the, I mean, not the RG, but the gems always have the last four scalloped. And I thought, I'm just going to do my RG 470. It's going to be, it's going to come out wonderful. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So we're just going to use it. And, and so what I got to do, actually, I've got to I got to sharpie these frets off. Let me get to that first. Okay, so I got to get these sharpied off. I just want to say one thing. This guitar is a 2001 model. I I won it on eBay. It had some dick, uh, dings in the edges and stuff. And I just want to say, you know, anytime you work on your guitar, especially if you're doing scalloping or anything like that, there's always a risk. But I feel confident enough in my work. I've done my 921. I've done a lot of fret leveling and learned Luther stuff from Master Luther. So I'm, I'm pretty confident in my abilities. But it's always one of those things. It's like a risk versus reward. If you don't take the risk, you're not going to get the reward. And, and so anyway, and I, I guess that's why a lot of guys like me make these videos. So we're going to sharpie off all of these... Uh, the whole fret because we want to make sure when we're taking when we're scalloping this this is going to let us know this is going to make us stay back from that fret where we don't get any damage to it so we're just going to sharpie all these off with a red sharpie So let me get that done and then we'll get back to this. Okay, so we're back. I've got those sharpied. And just so you know, I also have these powerful glasses that I use when I really want to, I'm going to look and make sure I get all my scalloped even. So we're going to use this Hunter Grit sandpaper. And also, I just want to say there's many, there's probably many different ways, probably at least three or four different techniques I've seen people doing for scalloping. And there's really not any wrong way. It's just a matter of just taking your time, making sure you don't, you know, damage anything. So we're just going to start with this 24th fret. And I'm going to make sure that my, I'm going to hold my sandpaper like that. We're just going to work the very center. This hunter grit will really start taking that off. We'll work the very center. So let me keep working this and then we'll get to that point and we'll inspect it. One thing I like to do, I like to be able to see this edge, and it's already, you get, this is already getting a nice little scallop to it, but I like to see this edge, and when I'm going this way, I don't want to put a lot of pressure going out that way. I'll, when I work my edges, I'll just kind of go, you want to get this pushed in good like that, and I'll just kind of work where I can see. If I'm going this way, it's not going to chip any kind of finish on the edge of your uh, fretboard. So we're just taking it slow and methodically, just a little at a time. You don't have to get too aggressive. 
keeping everything right in the center. And this hunter grit, it starts taking it off pretty fast. It's pretty good stuff. So we're just going to keep doing that. And I'll flip the guitar over and that way I can see that side. And uh, I'll see if you guys can probably, I don't know if you can make anything out, but I'm going to try to, it's starting to get scalloped nice. So we're just doing everything slow and methodically. You don't have to get in a hurry. It's starting to scallop that out. It's looking really nice. I'm going to do one at a time. Keep everything relaxed. Don't be drinking a lot of Coca-Cola or caffeine when you're doing this. And so we're just going to continue to do that. We're going to keep working this fret. Get a little bit more scalloped. I'm not going to do uh, super deep scallops on it. It's probably going to be like medium. Okay, so I got the first one finished. Took me about 20 minutes because I just took my time and came out really nice. Got a medium scallop on it, and you can see, kind of touched my fret a little bit. It's not too bad. I'm just the sandpaper just just grazed a little bit. This these frets will all get repolished, so there's no damage to them, but. The Sharpie just lets you know, make sure you're not doing nothing crazy to your frets. But you can see how it's, it's nicely got about a medium type scallop there. So I'm going to go on to the next one. So you want to keep your sandpaper rounded when you bend it over. I'm just using a little piece. These are about, I don't know, inch and a half by inch and a half. So it's, it's got a nice rounded you just work the centers all right so the second one is about done. And what I wanted to tell you when you're doing, you know, you, you got to keep this sandpaper rounded on the end. If you spin it to get some fresh sandpaper, you've just got to create a nice round pattern there. But one thing that I noticed some people don't refer to is you got to be careful on these edges or you'll damage the there's uh, there's this finish that's below where you where, where it goes concave if you push out like this when you're doing your you know your scalping if you're using either sandpaper or a file you can mess up your finish so what I do is I go down strokes like on this top section and then I'll turn my guitar over I just do down strokes when I'm taking out that material and that keeps from damaging any type of finish below where that fret is scalloping on the wood so that's kind of my number one important thing I wanted to tell you about because that first guitar, the Yamaha that I did, uh, on one of the frets, I popped out a little chip because I was going like this. So you got to really, on these edges, you got to go down strokes towards the edge. And then also, I, I can see it really good from the side here, so I can tell not only how much channel that I'm taking out compared to my first one I can keep everything nice and nice and even you know so we're going to end up with about a medium 
I'm not going down as far like say you, you on a rigid like how they scallop a gym. I'm not going that deep. I'm probably doing half that amount. So these are medium scallops. So I'm just working that. Now I'm going to and you're con I'm constantly inspecting the depth of this one and looking down and seeing the depth of that one. They're looking really almost identical, so we're all good. I'm just going to check this side. That way, when I flip it over, now I can see this side and I can work this where I don't damage that finish. You want to go down strokes on these edges even if you're using a file and I just I like to see my work as I'm going I, I notice a lot of guys are just going back and forth and they're working on a bench I've got to be able to look at that I'm wearing two pairs of glasses by the way and I've got some powerful Luther glasses that I that I can I can use to inspect as well so this one's almost done and it looks really nice So you just go slow and methodically, take your time, and then once we get them all scalloped, I'll take some really fine sandpaper and we'll just get this wood nice and, you know, sanded up, and then I'll re-polish the, the frets with some triple triple, I don't know, it's like zero, 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 zero grit, really super fine, steel wool. Aren't those looking nice? Looking nice already. See the nice wood grain? So I got two more to do. Doing okay, sissy? Come up here to spend some time with me? Yeah, good kitty. Okay, so I've selected a drill bit. So we're gonna make sure this is nice and rounded. So I'm gonna take that sandpaper, put that drill bit in there and just kinda, this is a quarter inch drill bit. It's gonna work for all, all four of those. I'm just gonna make sure it's all rounded off good. Okay, so I'm going to re make sure I get my sandpaper's touched a little bit of the uh, the frets, but they're not. It, is, it hasn't damaged them in any way. And we're going and we'll repolish them all when we get through scalloping. But I'm just reapplying a little bit of sharpie. I got a quarter inch drill bit. We're going to take our sandpaper and push it in there. And then we're going to make sure that we round everything. You know, it's, it makes, it's going to make it, make sure we're rounded off nice in there and concave correctly. We're going to work each one of those just to finish them off. guitar huh I came out here to work on my guitar now you gonna come mess with my stuff you ain't got enough toys to play with down there can't you see I'm working here huh you little turd you little turd I'm working here 
Here, just scoot back a little bit. Right there. Thank you for helping me. All right. Okay, so we got them nice and scalloped, looking nice. The wood grain showing up nicely through there. And uh, now I'm going to just polish up my frets with some steel wool. And we'll go ahead and clean this with some coconut oil. And, oh, I got to take some fine sandpaper to it first. It's looking nice. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to just take some fine sandpaper here. It's actually a little bit medium light grid then I got a really super fine and we'll uh, also go over it with uh, some real fine steel wool I'm the devil, I love metal. Okay, so we're going to, I still got a lot more polishing to do. I was just making sure if I hit it with any kind of, if I accidentally hit it with that, 100 grit sandpaper we're going to make sure we smooth anything off I didn't I know I didn't I didn't damage nothing but I'm just going to go ahead and start from this grit and then go to a, keep going to a lighter grit until I get to a super fine let me get my next grit size Next grid size down. Got my last four scalloped. The R RG470. This grit here, we can actually hit that wood too. Oh, this thing's looking nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to just keep going down in grit size. Keep right on polishing these up. Alright, we're going to get to the fine, super fine grit sizes now. 
Okay, so I got me a little dab of super fine steel wool. Let me hit it with that. probably gonna shred so fast down low it will be illegal in 23 countries looking nice now I'm fixing to hit it with my secret weapon super super fine Polishing off grit. Bam, right here. This stuff, look at it, super fine. butter down low it plays like butter all over but I can't wait to do some arpeggios with this bad boy got the last four scallop oh it's looking beautiful okay so now it's all nice and finish polish up I get to take the tape off my guitar I'm going to clean that up with some wax I'll pat take my sponge and pat any kind of dirt off will clean it off I don't when I work on guitar like this I don't ever rub my guitar like this I just make sure I pat everything with it with a kind of a wet sponge get all the dirt off and then we'll make sure that's all off and then we can wax the guitar this is looking nice. Got a medium scallop. I wouldn't call these like a full scallop, but they're about medium. And they came out really nice.